All right guys, five back with another video. So today we're gonna to get into some of your speaker wire connections and some of your cables. All right, so real quick, we'll run through the first cable that you're gonna need, the ones you're gonna to wanna to upgrade to, the one that's gonna provide you the best sound across the board in, in terms of your components, how you connect them, your TV, how you connect that um, to your AVR uh, and so on. And that cable of course is your HDMI. All right, guys, so if you guys are running any other sort of cable, uh, which, which some we're covering in a second, other than your HDMI, you're going to need to upgrade, guys. Um, if you're starting out just now uh, trying to get your surround sound or your audio equipment up to date, you're going to want to be using the HDMI. Reason being, it's the only cable that can do both audio and video uh, just from one cable. So your TV is only going to need the one cable going from the audio return channel, which is your ARC, to your AVR. And there's a section uh, on your AVR that says um, audio return channel ARC. It's usually labeled in white or it has like a red square, something like that. But uh, that's what you're gonna need, okay? So it's the only cable that you're gonna need. And then um, for your components, you're gonna need one HDMI for every component you wanna hook up. So you wanna play Xbox, you need an HDMI. You wanna play PlayStation, you need an HDMI. You wanna watch Roku, Apple TV, you're going to need two HDMIs, okay? So that's just how that's going to work. And that's why it's important when you go shopping for your AVR that you make sure that there's a, enough connections for as many things as you plan on uh, hooking up, okay? So keep that in mind, guys. HDMI cable, first on the list. Make sure you guys get that. Uh, the second thing, something you might be tempted to buy, something that, you know, looks kind of cool is your optical cable, okay? Um... Now your optical cable, you can play uh, Dolby Digital, uh, things like that, but you won't get your Dolby Atmos and you will not get your DTS-X out of this particular cable. Now, you know, it looks cool. You know, once you plug it in, you have your little red light coming out of the, your ends here, uh, see-through, but none of that is gonna help you in the sound department uh, when, it, when it comes to your audio equipment, all right? So go ahead and pass on this. Stick with your HDMI cable. Your next cable is going to be your RCA cables, okay? Now, these cables, um, guys, you should not be looking to use these in your audio setup. Now, there is only one caveat to that. The only time you're going to be using a um, RC, uh, RCA cable is for your subwoofer. Your subwoofers have an uh, input called LFE. That's going to be using your RCA cable. Other than that, you do, you do not want RCA cables coming from your components trying to go into your AVR or you don't uh, want them trying to come from your TV. Now, another thing for your TV is that a lot of TVs nowadays, uh, you know, the 4K smart TVs, all that, they're going to come with adapters similar to this where it's uh, audio, you know, uh, audio jack, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack uh, to your RCA cables. Now, does this look like something that you want your entire surround sound system running off of? Absolutely not, you know, so make sure that you, you pass on this as well. Pass on the RCAs and go straight to the HDMI. That's what's going to get you there and that's what's going to get you that amazing sound. Now that we talked about most of the connectors uh, as far as hooking up components and your TVs and whatnot, let's get into your speaker wire. Guys, how many times have you seen this? All right. Now, this is absolutely unacceptable. You do not want to have anything that looks like this as part of your system. You don't want to have any sort of splicing in your system. You don't want to have any of these little push clamps or uh, the separators or anything like that as part of your system. Um, this is uh, essentially a mistake waiting to happen. Uh, you're not entirely sure if your connections went all the way through with your speaker wire or if you have a little bit of your insulation uh, stuck inside causing a poor connection uh, or if it, if it just didn't cut all the way through or if it cut completely through severing your connection. Um, this is going to lead to more problems than solutions and you could potentially run into speakers not working or damaged equipment and not necessarily know why it's happening. Okay, so if you're running into an, that, an issue like that, um, you know, start here, remove anything that looks like this and uh, start fresh with some new speaker wire. Now, the new speaker wire you're going to get, um, you know, there's a couple different versions, many thousands of versions of speaker wire out there. Now, I'm here to tell you that you don't need to go, you know, looking through everything, 
okay? All you need to know is that when it comes to speaker wire, there's not gonna be a replacement or some sort of guarantee that's gonna come from spending more money, get you better cable, okay? Now, this is an example. Uh, one of these cables, I think I, I bought a lot of this. This was uh, this this was off Amazon. It's 14 gauge speaker wire, and I bought it in a roll of 500 feet, something like that. Um, so I got plenty left. I've done my whole room with this stuff, and you know if I need to uh, rewire anything or I made any mistakes, I can just cut, you know, make a new wire right off the bat uh, with solid connections, and I don't have to think about it. Now this stuff here, you know, it's a little thicker. It's got insulation on there, a little bit thicker insulation anyway. But this is 14 gauge wire also. I believe I paid um, $50 for this uh, and it was for 25 feet, something like that. So you can see, you know, 25 feet or 500 feet. And I, I don't remember how much I paid, but it, you know, maybe it was 50, 60 bucks, something like that. But I got a lot of this stuff uh, and it's the same, uh, same thickness in terms of your actual wire the outer shielding on the more expensive one is a little bit thicker but that does nothing for me uh, in terms of my audio quality okay so keep an eye on that make sure you're only getting what you need um, and don't spend extra money on the actual uh, wire in terms of uh, its quality make sure you're getting the good gauge make sure it's a decent cable in terms of uh, it's not you know frayed or it's not um, you know, coming apart in some sort of way, but as long as it's uh, the correct gauge that you need, uh, I keep saying 14 because that's a, a minimum kind of standard. So as long as you get 14 gauge wire and get it, uh, you know, in a bundle that where you, can, you don't have to splice anything, you'll be good to go. Now, moving on from that, you have your connections. So let's take a look at some of those. So you have your um, banana plugs, okay? So you got two sets of banana plugs here, these two here. This one is called a spade connector. These are your spades. These are the banana clips or um, banana connectors. So now these are not, um, you know, hard to install. I can show you how to install these here in a second. But the thing you need to know is there's a couple different types, um, mainly these two. So the one on my left here, that's going to be the one that I would recommend. Um, it goes together the easiest. It's the most secure and you won't have to worry about it uh, coming apart at any time. The other one, um, you know, it's a banana clip as well. Uh, they both insert just fine. Uh, the difference is how the, the wires mate to them. On this one here, you can see how the, uh, the wire goes through this hole into the connector and then it screws in on the back here like so. So once you unscrew that, you can pull that out um, and then that's how you would disassemble that. Now on these, you have to untwist the top here. So you untwist the top, expose the threads, and then you see it doesn't even want to really come off by itself. And then you have to pull it back through uh, in order to get it, get that connection off. So those are the three types. Like I said, I'd recommend uh, these banana clips here on the far left. Um, they hold really good and uh, you know, it's just a solid, solid connector. But um, what I'll do now is I'll show you how to uh, install some of these so that if you get some, uh, you're not really left in the dark. All right, so right now, we're not really gonna spend too much time on the spade connectors. Uh, this one here in, in my right hand. Uh, we're gonna stick with only talking about the banana plugs, uh, mainly because there's a difference I wanna show you in the other uh, connector right there. So real quick, uh, I'll just pull this off so you can get a quick look at these banana plugs with this type all going the same way. So if you can see here, uh, you can notice that both of these have the ser uh, serrated edges, the little teeth on there. That's gonna help grab the cables. Other than that, uh, all they do is, is thread on. So it's gonna be the exact same except for the, uh, the top, which makes it a banana plug in my left or a spade plug on the right. All right, so keep that in mind, guys, when you're shopping around. Um, so where do you start if you're gonna use the banana plugs? You know, you could start with your bare wire, okay? You can insert the bare wire onto the back of your AVR or the back of your speaker. It'll work and you'll be good to go. But, you know, I know all you guys out there are looking to do something a little bit better, a little bit more clean than just the standard look. So 
one of the main things about picking up, say, a used piece of wire is you might not know the condition of that wire. So if you pick this up, you know, you try to grab the grab the ends and straighten them out. Some of those ends might uh, might be breaking off, you know, so you might end up with uh, little pieces and uh, shards just like this. OK, now this isn't good. One, because the more of these you lose, the less continuity you're going to have in your uh, your cable here. The less resistance is going to be there. So you're not going to be getting a solid speaker connection. So what you want to do is if you have uh, your speaker wire, just go ahead Cut a piece off, and you can start fresh. Then if you want to do the bare wire, go ahead and put it in here, like so. Sorry for that noise, it's got a little snap to it there. And then you go ahead and you twist that up, just like that. Now, if you're going to use the bare wire method, this is where you want to start. Okay, you want to just use your bare wire just like this. Um, go ahead and cut new pieces off so that you can start uh, with no breaks or frays in your in your line. Now, if you have gotten your new spool of wire that you ordered and just arrived, you want to go ahead and take some off of that, unwind it a little bit, go ahead, cut a piece off, and then from here. You're going to split your cable, okay? It's always going to have a red and a black wire. So you split your cable. Now, keep in mind, we said that this is 14 gauge wire, okay? So the lower the number, the thicker the wire is going to be. So if you have a six or eight gauge wire, that's going to be thicker than your 14 gauge wire. Now, if you look on here, there's a 12 and a 14, and there's a 14 and a 16. We're going to have to use the 12 and 14 because there's the insulation on this wire all right that makes it thicker so if we use the 16 to 14 it's going to be too small all right so we don't want to cut the whole cable off we just want to expose some of the wire so go ahead put it in there there you go you got two fresh wires ready for you to use now you don't have to twist these up so much um, or really at all you just want to make sure that they don't fray apart on you so just give them just a little bit there go ahead grab your uh, banana plug make sure the red matches put it in there now at this point you want to fray these over okay fray it over like that bend it down it's like a little lip and make sure you tuck it inside the lip there all right you just go straight through the back here straight in there bend it over the lip and then go ahead and grab the top, put the top right on and screw it down, all right? Nothing to it. So on the other side, have your cable here. Go ahead and grab your second banana plug. Go ahead, put it on. Fray out your ends a little bit. Nothing crazy, no set order for this. Just pry it down. Make sure it stays inside uh, your little lip there. And your ear know if it's not on the lip too, because it's going to be real hard to screw this down if their wires are stuck in the threads. All right. So once you got that on there, go ahead, stick this on and start screwing that down. And then there you go. You got your first wire. Okay. So it's not that hard, guys. Uh, just take your time. Make sure uh, you're using the appropriate tools. Now, if you don't have the wire stripper, that's no problem. We can use uh, a razor blade for this. All right, so I'll show you how to do that as well. Go ahead, grab your wire. You know, grab something to cut it with. If you don't have the pliers around, it doesn't have to be uh, that. You can use anything. It's not that uh, not that tough. Go ahead, split this apart. All right. Now, if you're not comfortable using a razor blade, um, you know, no problem. You can find a friend or, or find somebody who is. Uh, if you are. Um, go ahead and get one and uh, you can just go around the insulation a little bit, okay? Once you get it around there, you just pinch it apart, pull it off, just like that, okay? Go ahead, grab your razor blade. Now, there's no need to rush to try to do this if you're not as familiar, all right? Break it apart, pull it off, just like that. Now, what you want to do, set your razor blade to the side. 
what you want to do is you can go ahead and twist these ones up if you're using the other side other uh, type of banana plugs okay so you can go ahead and twist them up like that grab uh, one of your different type of banana plugs now these you see how they have the screw on here um, that's this is what makes that different it doesn't go through doesn't go through the hole like these ones did all right so these are a little bit more secure but if this is what you happen to get or if you prefer this style go ahead line up the red stick it in this hole here you see that see how it's not coming through what you do not want to do is stick it all the way through here because if you have two of these side by side vertical like this there's a potential for you to touch the other one all right so keep that in mind while you're doing this so make sure you have this cable you put it inside the connector like that and then you screw this down especially on these types you're really going to have to use a, a set of pliers get a little bit of a little bit of extra grip on there nothing crazy just like that right so you can just rinse and repeat that process bring that down push that in there make sure it doesn't come off the top and then tighten it down All right, so once it's tight, then you have your other set of banana plugs. Now you're ready to go, okay? So the only other thing I have to say really about this part is uh, when it comes to your speaker wire, make sure you guys are paying attention to your equipment. Um, some equipment out there has a spot for these banana plugs. Some do not. I'll give an example. This particular speaker here, you see how it just has the push downs. Now this kind of speaker will only work with the bare metal um, connections. Okay, so that's something you're gonna have to keep in mind. Uh, these banana plugs will not fit in there. So take a look at your equipment. Make sure that you're buying the appropriate hardware, appropriate accessories, so that you can get everything good to go. Well, that's really all I have for you guys today. Uh, leave a comment down below if uh, you guys prefer to use, uh, you know, banana plugs, or if you guys prefer to use the spade connectors. Um, you know, I told you my choice is banana plugs, but everybody's different. Everybody has their own taste. So let me know what you guys think and uh, like and subscribe for more videos just like this one so we can go ahead and get your system up and running and sounding great. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching.